it's easy to rotate an object if you know the change in rotation angle. But what if you only know the final angle and not the original? That's when you need the reference option inside the rotate command. Reference lets you set a new zero angle so that you can specify the final angle. You never need to know the original angle. Let me show you how it works. This is a really simple example, but one that could come up almost anywhere. I've got a line here at some angle, and I want it to be at 90 degrees, perfectly vertical. I could use the measured geometry or angular dimension commands to see what the angle is, but those wouldn't necessarily give me a precise measurement. Instead, I'll start the rotate command, select the line, and pick one end of the line as my base point. Next, I'll enter R to bring up the reference option. Then I have to pick two points to define the reference angle. I'll use the base point as one, and the other end of the line is the second. Now, as I move the mouse, you can see that the line is attached to the cursor's direction vector. I can move the cursor up until it snaps to the 90 degree polar tracking angle and left click to create a perfectly vertical line. You can also use the reference option when you don't know the actual angle of rotation. In this example, I have an existing pipe end and a new end to attach to it. I'll start the rotate command select the new pipe end, and pick the common point of the two ends as the base point. This time, my reference angle is the current angle of the new pipe end. To define the rotation angle, I'll snap to the other corner of the existing pipe. With Rotate by Reference, you'll never have to guess the value of an angle again. For more tips like this, check back with us every week here at the AutoCAD Exchange.